and I coke and I blog at Super Lucky with tips on how to find, enter and win competitions. This is my guide to using TweetDeck for comping. Now TweetDeck is a brilliant tool, it's better to use it on a computer, although you can use it on mobile and tablets, it's a bit trickier to use. So this guide is filmed on my MacBook. I've also got a Twitter tips for compers video, so watch that too if you haven't yet. Don't forget to follow me at Super Lucky Die. I hope you find the video useful. To get started, go to TweetDeck.com, which will redirect you to TweetDeck.Twitter.com. You'll need to log in using your usual Twitter username and password. You can log in to multiple Twitter accounts on TweetDeck, and you can switch between them and manage them all. If I click the three dots here, you can see that I'm also logged in as Hove Park Colts FC, and you can add new accounts and manage your accounts just here. The idea of TweetDeck is that you can add lots of different columns with different timelines and feeds so you can see lots of stuff at once. It's absolutely brilliant for compers and finding competitions and that's what I'm going to show you today. With TweetDeck you have several decks and each deck has several columns in. So you can see my decks are listed down in the left hand menu here, creative, personal, wishlist, Instagram, books, K-pop and Brighton. This menu on the side here is very straightforward. Once you get used to it, you can just click this arrow at the bottom and make it skinny so you've got more room to see everything else that's happening. So to get started, we're going to add a column. You can either click on this big black button here to add your first column, or you can click here. So here are the main options for adding columns. I'm gonna add the essentials. So first of all, my home timeline. So I'm logged in a super lucky die, so this is my regular home feed. I'm gonna now add another column, use this button this time, and I'm gonna add my messages to keep track of what's going on with my messages. And another column, I'm gonna add my bookmarks, which is tweets that I've saved. Okay, so this is a good start. Now you can see that we've started to move over already and fill the space. So you can just use this scroll bar at the bottom to go back and see your first column. Now, if you want to change the size of the columns and the text and what you're looking at here on TweetDeck, you can go to this three dot menu on the side and you can click on display. And here you can change the, the size of the text. You can make it bigger and smaller and you can change your column width to make it wide, medium or narrow. You can see that my home feed here is refreshing automatically. That can get quite annoying. So if you tap on the settings here at the top of your column, you can switch this to manual refresh. And once you click on that and close your settings, you will see at the top of the column, you now have a refresh button. So every so often when you want to see the new tweets, you can click on that button and it will refresh with the latest content for your home feed. If you want to stop it temporarily, just move your scroll bar up and down and that will pause it. Other things that you can add, you can add another user. So if you've got a favorite user that you want to add, you can type in their name here and add them. I'm gonna just add UK Mums TV because I'm thinking about them and I know they do a lot of competitions. And that will add their profile there and you can scroll down and see all the tweets on their profile. When you've got your columns set up, you can move them around easily by just clicking on these dots at the top left of a column and dragging them around. So you can delete a column by clicking on the trash can at the top. You can see on the home feed here, I've got a couple of extra icons. This one here changes from top tweets to latest tweets. And then what I showed you earlier, the refresh button, that just refreshes with the latest tweets. If you do pause your feed, when you come back to it, you'll see a little green scroll to top button. Tap on that and it will take you right to the top to the latest tweets again. You can interact with tweets on TweetDeck as you would on the normal Twitter app. So for example, this competition here, if I want to follow, I can hover over the name at the top, click to follow, and then retweet as well. Scroll down, click the retweet button, like, and if I want to comment, tap on that button and it will simply open up a new pop-up for me to comment. Now TweetDeck is brilliant to search for competitions. On the screen now, you can see I've got my creative deck. So on the left-hand column there, the camera icon represents my creative deck, which has got four different search columns, 
all of them related to creative competitions. So it's a Twitter search for photo competition, kids competition win, upload photo win and share photo win. Now they sound quite similar, but you can see they've all got slightly different results. So TweetDeck's a brilliant way of having loads of very similar searches, but covering loads of different things at the same time. Also down here on the left, I have got hearts. And now that is my wish list searches. So here I've got columns set up for the kind of prizes that I want to win. So a spa break, DIY prizes, a fridge, a PlayStation 5. Now this all might look a bit complicated. So I'm going to show you now how to set up a simple search column. First of all, let's create a new deck and we're just going to call this searches. You can choose an emoji for your deck here. So let's use the, the magnifying glass. I think would make sense. And then done. So here's our empty deck here. So the first column we're going to add is going to be a search. So we are going to search for, let's look for win flowers to start with. And then press enter and you will get your search results. Okay, I want to be more specific here. So when you've got your search results, click on the settings and then search. There's lots of things you can do here. So if you scroll down, you've got include words to include, exact phrases, certain people who have tweeted, you can ignore most of this and you can exclude words as well. So if you find the same kind of words are popping up in your results and you don't want them, you can type words in there. Time and locations, brilliant. Down here, I'm gonna put in search location and I'm gonna put in UK. So it's only gonna show me tweets from the UK. You can make this more local to you, but you might not get many results. Sticking to the UK will probably give you a good amount of results. And down here, if you do get random foreign languages popping up, you can just change language to your display language, which will be English. Scrolling back up again, you can see that it's updated my search box here at the top. Something else I'm thinking of doing is putting in maybe bouquet as well. So I'm going to actually take flowers out of here and I'm going to just have the word win and I want to have any of these words, flowers and bouquet. And now if we go back to the top, we've got win and, and then in brackets, flowers or bouquet. So TweetDeck is going to look for the word win and it's going to look for either flowers or bouquet in the tweet. So if it's win flowers or win a bouquet, it will show me results of both of those. So on the left hand side now, I've got a feed of results that include win and either flowers or bouquet. So there's a competition here. You can see Jane's actually replied to a competition. If I click on that, it opens up Jane's tweet and I can now scroll up and see what she's replying to. And then I can enter that competition by retweeting here and liking it and then commenting with my favorite spring flowers. job done. When you've finished with your column edits, just close that window and you're back to your column there. Another thing you can do is rename your column, which is a good idea because quite often it's a bit confusing just to see the word win at the top. So back into the settings there and in options, you can scroll down and rename column and I'm just going to call it flowers. And then close. I love using lists on Twitter and that's something I'm covering in my Twitter tips for compass video as well. And TweetDeck's brilliant for managing your lists. So I'm going to show you a couple of the lists that I've got set up here. Um, I've got a new deck here with a books icon and I've got a couple of lists that I can add to this as columns. So I'm going to add column and lists and here's my list. The one I'm going to start with is books here. And this is a list that I've created of loads of UK book publishers and related websites. And I've got another list, which is similar, which is kids books. So these are in alphabetical order, so it's easy enough to find. OK, so those are two of the lists that I've created there. You can see that books has got 112 members on, kids books 100 members. Now, these lists, we can search those for the word win or giveaway. And to do that, we want to go to the top and look for the magnifier and you can see we've got this search and options set up again here 
So you can do exactly what you did before. So let's look for tweet content and we want to look for win or giveaway or let's put competition. And you can see again at the top of this column, it's put it in brackets with the ors. It does all the hard work for you. And now if you look over on the left, that list is now updated and it's showing me competitions that it's finding in the content of that list. Again, TweetDeck has given it a bit of a crazy column title. So I'm gonna click on options and I'm gonna rename this here. So I've renamed it to books. So on the left, my books column is now a search column searching for win, giveaway or competition amongst all the tweets from the users on my books list. And then on the right hand side, my kids books is just a list column. And you can see the small words at the top, it's got search and list showing you what type of column that is. But of course, I can click on search there and I can add filters to this list as well to only show me win or giveaway. And when I do that, you can see it changes to search at the top of the list, gives it the crazy name, which you can change in your settings kids books and there you have it all organized now going back to lists you don't need to create a list of your own to use it loads of people on twitter have public lists they've done all the hard work for you and TweetDeck can be a brilliant way to actually use that content and find competitions from it so i was having a browse earlier and i noticed that uk mums tv were actually on a list by a user called retweet to win uk so if i show you their account now you can see that they haven't tweeted since 2021. However, now you've clicked the three dots on their profile and you can view their lists. So you can view the list that they've created. Now this list here, Twitter accounts, 1.3 thousand members, which is fantastic. And they obviously created this list to find competitions to retweet when they were actively retweeting. So I'm gonna click on that list and I'm gonna add it as a column. by clicking that button at the top. So there we go. So I can now, I'm gonna delete their profile column. And this is content from that list of over a thousand accounts that run competitions. So you can scroll through this list manually looking for competitions, or you can use those tips that I've given you. You can click on the search, and then you can go into the usual. So we want to have any of these words, win, giveaway, competition the usual words press enter and then close that down and you're going to find hopefully plenty of competitions there in that content another list that I found earlier I've actually got it in another tab is parent bloggers UK which has got 367 members so genuine placebo has created this list so again let's add a column and we want lists and we're going to look here this time, find other people's lists. So there's Donna's account and Parent Bloggers UK. There's her brilliant list. So bloggers do loads of giveaways. So again, that's a great list. And what we're going to do is turn it into a search column again. So the usual, let's just look for win giveaway competition obviously you can put whatever you want into these boxes just try different things you might get good results but I'm just doing this a sort of standard that I know will give me results so so this is going through the feed from all the bloggers and obviously everyone's tweeting there about their giveaways which is great and now I've got these columns here saved in my deck. Every time I open tweet deck, I have got access to these search results. So if you're getting bored of using competition listing website, doing the same old thing, head over to tweet deck, have a play around, see what you can find, add all these columns, and you will be constantly finding new content, new competitions to enter. I hope you enjoyed my guide to tweet deck. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or any tips to share with me as well. I've also got my tips for Twitter compers video if you've not seen that yet. And there's loads more advice on my blog and in my books. Don't forget to follow me at Super Lucky Die. Good luck.